Welcome to the November edition of the Northern Lights Council Northern Highlights. Here we give you the top five things to know or do in the next couple of months. Without further ado, let us jump into the top five. Number one, recharter. The Boy Scouts of America offers an online charter renewal process for units. Recently, this process was moved to improve systems and increase speed and efficiency. The rechartering process can be completed from start to finish without a single piece of paper changing hands. In order for the system to work and to get access, a currently registered member of the Unit Key 3 or Key 3 delegate will need to log on to the system. The Charter Organization Representative, COR, will get an email to apply an Adobe signature to complete the process. Make sure that you have a good email entered in the roster for the COR and let them know to look for an email to approve the final roster. Recharter is now live for units that have an expiration date of December 31st, 2021. To be considered on time, please work with your unit commissioner to complete the charter by December 1st, 2021. For more help and to view a tutorial, please visit nlcbsa.org slash charter. National has put together a very informative video that walks you through the steps by steps of completing your charter. Number two, youth protection training and other training. Going hand in hand with the recharter process is the renewal of youth protection training, YPT. Every registered adult member must renew their youth protection training every two years. If you need to renew your youth protection training, please visit my Dot scouting dot org. If you are unsure, please contact your local district executive and they can assist in getting you the date of your last youth protection training. While updating your youth protection training, make sure to renew your hazardous weather training at the same time. Did you know that hazardous weather is good for only two years and that it is required training to be considered fully trained in your position? When updating your youth protection training, Make sure to update your hazardous weather and you'll be good for another two years. There are lots of great trainings available on my.scouting.org and in person. To see what in-person training events are upcoming, check out the Northern Lights Council calendar to see what training opportunities are available. Every youth deserves a well-trained leader. So begin your training journey today and learn more about how the program is run in the Boy Scouts of America. Number three. Romp and Cub Polar Day. Wilderness Romp, open to Cub Scouts, Scouts BSA, and Venture Scouts. This program is on Saturday, January 30th, and is $20 per person. This program runs from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. and includes lunch, dinner, equipment usage, and a patch. Cabins are available for the weekend and run for the normal charge of winter camp. Program consists of cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, GPS demonstration, ice fishing, snow shelter building, and much more. Sign up for this event online at nlcbsa.org. Cub Polar Day, open to Cub Scouts only. This program is on February 27th and runs from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. The cost is $20 per person and includes lunch, dinner, equipment usage, and a patch. Cabins are available for the weekend and run for the normal charge of winter camp. This weekend program consists of cross-country skiing, snowshoeing, sledding, hill races, ice fishing, broom ball, and much more. Sign up for the event online at www.nlcbsa.org. Number 4. Night on the Ice Coming up in 2022 are two awesome opportunities to enjoy a night of hockey. Each offers a unique and different atmosphere for the night. Scout Night with the Fighting Hawks and Fargo Force are set for January 2022. These fun nights offer loads of opportunities for scouts to come together to enjoy an evening of hockey. These nights are a great place for the community to see that scouting is strong by wearing your scout uniform and filling up the hockey rink. The first night of hockey is the Scout Night with the Fighting Hawks. Come watch University of North Dakota take on Cornell University on January 8th. Scouts have two different opportunities that night with a game only option or an overnight option. More information can be found online at www.nlcbsa.org 
slash calendar. The second night of hockey is the Scout Night with the Fargo Force. Come watch the Fargo Force take on Sioux City on January 21st. Scouts have different opportunities that night to experience a night filled with hockey. More information can be found online at www.nlcbsa.org slash calendar. Number 5. Save the Date, Eastern and Western Spring Camperies. Coming in 2022 is the next Eastern and Western Spring Camperies. This fun-filled events for Scouts BSA units bring together multiple districts for a weekend of scouting-related activities. The Eastern Spring Campery will bring together the Lake Agassiz, Prairie Fire, and Northern Sky districts the weekend of May 20th through the 22nd, 2022. Location has not been determined, but please mark your calendars down for this fun event. The Western Spring Camp Re brings together units from the Rough Rider, Great Plains, Tomahawk, and Frontier Trails districts. The Western Spring Camp Re will be held June 3rd through the 5th. Location has not been determined, but please mark your calendar down for this great opportunity in the West. This concludes this month's top five need-to-know items of the Northern Highlights. Make sure to subscribe and hit the like button to get the most up-to-date information about scouting in the Northern Lights Council.